Hello and welcome to New Series Australia webinar training call. My name is Nathan. And I'm Martin. And it's super exciting. We're, we're in Monday the 8th of, what, what month is it this month? August. And the, it's number, first finish number, week three. Wow, I'm starting to mumble. <laughs> Out, <laughs> week number three of the Blitz. How exciting. How, how many exciting things have we seen over this week? Holy moly. <laughs> it is absolutely exploding. And the hard work that everyone's doing, um, you know, it's all just starting to come to fruition. So absolutely smashed last week's. Um, we've had week after week breaking records and uh, spoke to Eva very briefly this evening over Messenger and we've done it again. So it is... Another record week uh, down under, and some of you would have seen the new ranks that are super, super exciting. So we have some more people who have qualified for the VIP brunch put on by the Diamond. So if you're new to Nucerity and this is your first training call, massive welcome. You wouldn't probably know it yet, but you have just made the best decision. And if you trust the process, um, there's so many just average, ordinary people like all of us completely changing their worlds beyond anything that we thought possible. So we have our first ever conference happening down under, which is going to be absolutely epic. But before that, there's a few other things we've got lined up for you, obviously, the last three weeks of the Blitz, but we've also got Two other things. So we've got a VIP, VIP brunch, which Martin spoke about, which we'll give you some details about. But we'll also have a pre-conference Sydney cruise. So we have two more weeks left on to actually purchase these tickets. We do need to know numbers because we do need to book the right boat. We need to make sure that we fill it out and we, we have lots of fun. So it's going to be an opportunity for us to be able to cruise around Sydney Harbour, have lots of fun, meet, greet, and really say hello to New Sherry Diamonds all around the world, um, corporate staff, um, the founders. It's, it's going to be an epic night. And then obviously leading into the brunch. And so do you want to talk more about the brunch and some of the details around that? Yeah, so not only is this business model all about paying it forward, but so is New Serity. And what the Aussie Diamonds have done, we want to give back. We want to recognise everyone that's out there having a go and smashing their goals. So we've all come together and what we're putting on is a VIP Diamond Brunch. For the first 80... 80 people, yeah. 80, yep. <laughs> who new rank, platinum or above, Leading up to that brunch, we'll get to come and have that experience with all of the diamonds. So far, we have Jennifer Rose, Fiona Mills, Sabrina, Jody G from Lillian's team who hit Emerald, Cassandra Barry. We have Kim Scubris who hit Emerald, our first Emerald for the Blitz. We have Lynn Crow. We have Carol Coston. We have Chris Krauss, Amanda Kate, and Carleen Mamoma. So. That breakfast is filling up quick, so get duplicating, get sharing, because you want every person on your team there so they can experience and have that one-on-one -on -one time with the top income earners in the company. And so we've only got 70 spots left there, and as you can see what's happening with the duplication and all the numbers that are coming through now, these, these, these are going to disappear. In the next two, three weeks, well, this will be completely packed out. So if, if you are anywhere near Platinum or if you've team their Platinum, Get there and make it happen because it's going to be an experience and you know just an opportunity to, to celebrate um, what you've been able to achieve during the Blitz and also your team. So definitely do your best to get there. So obviously the you talk about the conference. What are the details of the conference, Martin? So they're the 28th and 29th of October in Sydney, and you can get your tickets in the back office. And for me, I still had a little bit of fear. I thought, you know, I'm around all these crazy positive happy people. What's going on? Because um, it wasn't something that I was used to. Conference changed everything and then when I knew what I was part of um, and experienced it and seeing the Facebook feed come through of all the fun they're having in Calgary, it's absolutely massive. Um, there's so many exciting things come out of it. So get yourself there, get your team there, whether you're um, in it for the social side, um, want to just have a ball, meet the people, or if you want to completely change your life in a, from a financial perspective, you need to be there and more importantly, get all your team there. And the tickets are over half sold out. Um, it will sell out. So I'd encourage you, as you're bringing your new people on, make sure they understand so they don't miss out. Yeah, and we all know that when we get our people to events, ourselves to events, it really changes your business. So, And we've had so many you know, instances within our own team that it has really made, made them into the people they are today. So in saying that, it was also something that happened at uh, a recent event in uh, over in Canada, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Are you pretty excited? 
I know, I want some! <laughs> and if you're not excited, you must be already in, living in Disneyland because this is super exciting. What do you reckon they can do for anyone's business, this brand new um, thing that was released in Calgary? Well, I know for me personally, all my friends I scoured in the beginning because I had no idea what I'm doing. This is something they all need and they're going to love. So it's going to enable me to go back to people that, you know, it may not have been for in the beginning. But also what it means for all of us is we get to try it and experience it. And we know that we're partnering with a company that only wants the best products based on science that actually do it their claims. So not only are we going to have the most amazing skin, we're going to be feeling fabulous. <laughs> and it's really the way forward, not only for the market leading and the trends, um, but for health and beauty inside and out. Yeah. And look, we don't have, we don't have all the details now. We, we don't know the information, but it's going to be out very shortly. So obviously we need to test and try these products. We need to get out to our team. We need to get to our families. We need to have a local stories on what this product can exactly do for us. Because exactly what we did when, when obviously Skincerity and all of those products came out, what did you do? I tried to prove them wrong because I was a bit sceptical. So um, I will be getting every person I know to use it. I'll be doing deals left, right and centre because I know with new Serity products, when people feel them and they experience it, they don't want to live without it. Definitely. So we've got some ex uh, exciting uh, interview to lined up today. And so who do we have interviewing to start off with? Yeah, so I just want to say these ladies are the bomb. If you haven't got your pen and paper out, get it, take notes because you're learning from the best. So super, super excited to introduce one of our diamond leaders who's a makeup artist, um, does this alongside Mick. We've had many fun travels um, through the company and I would love to bring on Lillian Sutton who's going to interview one of our newest emeralds. And just before you um, start, Lil, I just want to do a quick shout out to Blue Diamond Veronica Rick. She had two emeralds in her team today, one being her son, Chris Kraus, which is the first Gen Y uh, emerald in Australia. Male and, as well. Yep, yep, mancerity. <laughs> um, it's becoming cool for men too, they finally caught on. And then also Amanda Kate down in Newcastle. So Newcastle's first Emerald. Huge shout out to you guys. Emerald's a massive, massive achievement and looking forward to seeing who will be shining bright. So hand it over to you, Lil. Thank you, Lil. Thanks, Wallaces, and uh, everyone welcome on the call. Um, I am really super excited. We've, um, I think everyone's been keeping up to date with what's happening on the Vits page. and. I actually just get so excited seeing all the ranks being posted. And I suppose tonight the guys have asked me to jump online because um, we are interviewing the Blitzer's first Emerald, Kim Scooper, as most of you probably know her as um, the, the skeptic uh, police journalist from Channel 7. Um, I have to say she was actually my first guinea pig, one of the first people that actually trusted me to try the products at Channel 7 uh, when I was still working there as a makeup artist. Uh, and I still remember very vividly, she said, Lil, I, I love the product, but I don't want to do the business. I'll just keep ordering the product and I'm happy to share it with people. And I suppose what started happening as she was sharing with people, much like she would do, like with her, um, I suppose when people would comment on a jacket she was wearing or maybe a lipstick, um, she would tell them the product and basically tell them to ring me. So I would put her down as a referral number and I'll never forget a call that she made uh, about six months later and she said, Lil, I noticed that you hardly ever, uh, ever, um, I hardly ever see a Channel 7 anymore and secondly I'm starting to get paid from this company and I told you I'm not doing the business. And I said no, well that's how it works. It just works on referrals regardless of if you're actually wanting to, to build a business or not. So that goes towards your products. Now fast track about probably 18 months and she'll be able to rectify me if I'm getting the right dates wrong but she's now doing this full time and it's with an absolute honour to invite her on the call tonight, not only as, as our team's first um, Emerald, but also for this year's split. So, Kim, are you there? I'll just get you to switch on your microphone, Kim. There we go. Hi, everybody. Well, so the technical Kim, side's not a boy. <laughs> I just have a voice. You know, the technical thing's not my thing. I, I talk, the technical, I'm, that's my roadblock, guys. I'm getting there. I've just got a voice, but I'm sitting in one of our gorgeous uh, team members' bedrooms. I've kicked Hubby out. He's just got home from work, and I said his shower's going to have to wait. And um, we're blitzing down here on the central coast of New South Wales. So it's, um, it's a real honour to be asked on tonight. So hi, everybody. 
Absolutely, Kim, and thank you so much for making time in your busy, blitzing schedule, obviously being away from home, from the family. But just for those that actually haven't met you, like tell us a little bit about yourself and how you actually, maybe you tell your story of how you introduced these products. I don't know, I had this really pushy makeup artist called Lillian Sutton. <laughs> No, seriously, I, um, I've been a journalist for 25 years with Channel 7 and I had just come back from my second lot of maternity leave and I found that through the hormone changes I had really, really dry skin. And you find when you're on camera, people feel it's like a license to pick you apart and we have feelings too. You know, some people call journalists vultures but we do have feelings. And I was finding I was feeling very self-conscious and losing my confidence because my skin was so dry. And remember, Lil, you were trying to put my makeup on and it'd suck into my pores. And and uh, so Lillian said to me, look, honey, I love you, but your skin's not great. And I thought, well, that's a great thing to tell someone who's about to get in front of millions of people on a camera. But Lil's had my back. And as I always say in this business, I truly believe we trade on trust. So I trusted Lillian and I took the roller home and the third morning, I was peeling and washing it off. It was going everywhere. I'm thinking, I'm not very good at this. And then I looked at my, um, my face and I thought, wow, this seems a bit wanky, but I actually think my skin's looking brighter. And two weeks later, God love him, I'm so close to my father, but he wouldn't notice if I dyed my hair black. He said, do you look well? And I went, oh, come on. And then another reporter said, are you pregnant again? You're glowing. And I thought, right, okay, what is this stuff? So it actually really started to give me my confidence back on camera. And then I had a friend of mine who was visiting from Toowoomba, beautiful Claire Feather, and she started using She saw it on the bench and she started using it. And here am I, just loving the product. And I basically said, look, talk to Lillian. And she did, and she got it straight away. And I just started sharing it. Now I had no idea that was the business, and it just grew from there. But that was sort of the, the way I got into it from um, obviously from you, Lil, but I just became passionate about it. Absolutely. And you know what? I'll never actually forget the first time we flew to the US to meet um, you know, Lonnie, Lonnie and, and David oh, and you were entering the, the conference like as a journalist. I remember you had your clipboard of questions and and I just remember your very first question that came out of your mouth to David was, what happens when you die? And I just remember going, oh my goodness. But you know, one of the things it taught me is like you asked all the questions I believe that a lot of people were, were, were needing to know and it certainly instilled that extra um, belief even within myself. And, and I do remember you leaving that conference um, with 100% belief um, you know, about this company. So tell us a little bit about what this company and products actually, what you really love about it. Well, I just love that the products do sell themselves. And I say to people when they're, they're trying them, I said, you will notice a difference. At the end of the day, I now have enough confidence after more than two years of using the product, because I've mostly been what I call a product user. I have enough confidence to straight away say to people, you know what, really all you want to hear at the end of the day, because I can talk underwater with a mouthful of cement about this, you just want to know, does this work? And how much is it going to set you back? And you literally have, you see people just sit back and think, great, there's no BS here. I'm, I'm not going to waste your time. And that's what I love about it, that you can actually go in now with confidence and talk about something that is going to change people's lives. And when I first heard that and I heard the Creating Beautiful Lives slogan, I thought, oh, that's, that's lovely. It's a, a nice catchphrase. But the passion comes from actually seeing these products changing people's lives, changing not just the physical but the psychological. And that's what drives me, Lil. I mean, for 25 years, stories have been my life and they now continue to be my life, but I've got my family back. You know, I, I, I've been all about this journey to being about my time with my family. And I'm incredibly emotional tonight because, goodness, it's been a crazy week. I'm missing my children and my husband, but you know what? We did this on our terms. I'm not getting the 2 a.m. phone call to fly away to another cyclone. I'm calling this six weeks cyclone usurity, and that damn emerald was definitely <laughs> hard to catch. But um, all jokes aside, what I'm loving about the product, this business and company, is that I'm doing it on my terms. And I do love that phrase, that we are the CEO of our own companies within an amazing company and community. 
I know you make me laugh about not getting 2 a.m. calls from Channel 7, but I remember the night before you went in, World. Uh, Michael and I were in bed at 3 a.m. texting you <laughs> uh, for quite some time, and I thought, you know, um, but as you say, it's all on your own terms. Now, um, we've obviously done a blitz before. This is the first, you know, Australia wide blitz. How excited are you about the blitz? And, and I suppose ultimately, you, you halfway mark, you've achieved Emerald. You've still got another three weeks to go uh, as part of the blitz. Like, how excited about you about your business, but also about your team's success? Oh, can you see? I'm all flushed. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I have been involved in three blitzes. And the first two, I thought I was doing the blitz because I was just really excited for everybody and I wasn't doing the business, but I was just so excited. Um, what I'm loving about this is the teamwork. And I it still hasn't sunk in that I've, I've ranked this, um, this rank and it would not have happened without the team. And I struggle to use words that aren't going to sound cliche, guys, but seriously, this is about teamwork. And what I love is if I use a television analogy, as soon as I took the camera off myself, which it has been for 25 years, and turned it around and put it on those people who I just adore, love working with, and are passionate about helping them with their goals and dreams, it all just came. So every star, every superstar, every bronze, every silver, every gold and platinum of this week has been so exciting and it's not over. We're in hump week of blitzing and I'm really going to have to start finding some of those antiseptic soothers for my throat because this thing's going to keep going. I can't lose my voice. I am totally pumped about it because whether you add an extra day, uh, an extra hour to new, your new serity business a day, if that's what you can do and you make that hour you know, happen, you know, as we hear the IPAs, the follow-ups, you don't sit there and think, oh, I really should dust the fan. You do something with that hour, then you're blitzing. You're actually changing your mindset and you're helping inspire. So, yeah, I am totally pumped about this. I mean, why wouldn't we be? Look what's going on. First national blitz in Australia, and it's the first one I feel like I really, really get. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking, yeah, I think I'm doing it, I'm kind of getting it, you'll get there. You will get there. Just stick with it and have the faith and the passion for it. Absolutely, and I think you hit the nail on the head. It is all about the team, and I know, um, you know, for myself, I still remember, uh, you know, hitting Emerald and, and the Diamond, but you know what? It, it has so much more power when it actually happens to your team. So, you know, I really encourage everyone, I suppose, to really focus on the team, help them rank, because honestly, like, if you think you're excited about ranking yourself, wait until you help your team rank. It's absolutely amazing. So on that note about the team, Kim, like, how do you find you get the best out of your team? Well, I ask their permission. I'll, if we're looking at go in, in the sense of the blitz, I ask their permission personally, one by one, and it takes time, but I really want that connection. I ask their permission to motivate and help them through this blitz. Yes, they sign that form, and yes, they're putting down their goals, but it's one thing to do that, and we all know the power of writing everything down, and you have to do that. But then to have that connection, I really find it powerful to actually spend the time through message or, or phone call depending on what they prefer with their busy schedules because let's face it everyone's juggling a lot and I had I basically spent the month prior to the blitz this time really working out where people were at asking them to reiterate their whys reassess their stories and what they wanted to get out of it and then we started to work from there so for me the key was asking permission that I could actually either help them set their goals or that I could actually keep them accountable each week. And you break it down. I love your, um, your the, the saying you use, Lil, where the way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. That bloody emerald was a big damn elephant and it's been there for eight months. And I think for me the importance though was through this process, not just through the blitzing, was all the way, all the time in the back of my mind is how can I help these people build a stable income? Yes, the, the ranking, don't get me wrong, it's exciting and, and it's humbling and it's just so wonderful to be part of a ranks run with people as we've done you know, with you and, and many others in the Diamonds. But for me, I'm very, very much about building a stable income from people. It comes from hearing their why and what they want. So when I get that why and their belief, 
we then go to work. So it's literally keeping them accountable. I've got their permission and I can write them. You're good at doing that to me. And I pass it down. And uh, I noticed I love the way you just said, oh, we're only three weeks, you know, only three weeks in, so I know I'm going to have the whip cracked again. But um, it's a combination of humour, a bit of whip cracking, and asking themselves what they want from themselves. And I find the biggest task master most people have is themselves. So if they harness that, then they're halfway there. And then showing them they don't have to do it alone. It's so important for people to see that they're all together. So with a, your team, it's easier to set up a Facebook page or in my case, I have a message thread going and I invited people to put people on there who were really serious about being uh, ridden with this blitz and also wanting to be part of that real motivating. And uh, every day it's been happening. So it's breaking it down like that. And then it seems really doable. Absolutely. Now, obviously, um, you know, getting to Emerald and, and doing it during the Blitz, there's obviously a lot of people that have joined your team in the last couple of weeks, Kim. Now, what advice would you give to people online tonight? Like, how, how do you support that many people? How do you support them getting started? Well, it's really, really important for them to find, as I said, their why and belief straight away. And, of course, depending on what that why and belief is, is obviously whether it's going to be showing them how to make money straight away and to duplicate. You know, we have the most amazing tools in Userity with the Fast Start 2x2, the first order bonuses, showing them that it is doable. You know, there's no point waving the diamond in front of them when they're only an associate. And when I say only, every rank is so critical and important, but that's how they're going to feel. Oh my goodness, that is so far off. You know, they look in their back office and click on it, it's all red. It's going to freak them out. So again, I break it down. So whether it's face to face or it's over the phone, you have that mental meeting. And the phrase I, many of you have heard me say that I've brought to this business is, we trade on trust. We have awesome products. We have fantastic founders, an awesome company, and an amazing community. But ultimately, none of us would be here, um, none of us are here would be here if it wasn't by the fact we we trusted someone. So I asked them to trust me, and then I asked them to trust themselves that they can do this. So we go through the back office, we find out what their why is, and we develop their story, and then. I'll tell you what, we get them duplicating as quickly as we can. Who doesn't want to see a bit of cash coming in straight away? I know, Lil, I thought it was spam. Miss Police Reporter thought there was fraud going on with you, Serity, and you went, you twit, you're actually getting paid. And that's when I silly said to you, we really need to have a cuppa and you need to talk to me about this. But I think they need to see that they're not alone. And I think one of the best pieces of advice I've ever been given in my journey so far was from our amazing upline support, Shannon Melnick. And I said to her, I was at a meeting, remember with you when we started, uh, when you started out and you said, can you come along and support me? Good on you. I had no idea what you were taking me to. But um, I sat there and I met Shannon. She was visiting from Canada. And I said to Shannon, I said, okay, I said, um, so if you were me starting out and you've been in the game for, for five years, what would you say to me? And she said, never do it alone. I thought I'm an independent, successful woman. I can go out there and blaze a trail, and I did. But it got so big then that I couldn't keep up with it. And she said, make sure you always use your third-party edification. Make sure you learn to duplicate. So that's what I keep in my mind all the time because it is very tempting to just go out there and just run right and do it because you're excited. But I really keep in mind that as you're mentoring, you're not wanting to create another job for yourself, guys. You've got to duplicate. So here at the moment, we're literally, we're training out there, running here to the bedroom. Paul Matt's out there waiting for his shower. And... We're, we're, we're nurturing and we're training because that's what it's all about. A really good, Absolutely. solid business. Absolutely. And I think you uh, really touched on a really important uh, aspect there in this third party um, you know, edification. You know, that's one of the things I suppose is like we don't do this business alone. It is all about teamwork. And it doesn't matter what rank you are. Because then, okay, you're an Emerald, then you still use me for third party edifications, three way three -way calls. And, I think ultimately it's all about, um, you know, I suppose setting up the new person for exactly the system, how it works. Wouldn't you agree? Like you're obviously down on the central coast. I'm sure most of those girls are more than capable of doing it, but you're essentially there as a third-party edification. 
Absolutely. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a third party edification of someone that is seen as an upline in the business. That new person has no idea about the ranking. Personally, I don't talk about things like Diamond, Ruby, when I MC or introduce someone to people outside of New Serity at first because they don't know what that means. I might refer to that person as this is my. Um, uh, the person who introduced me to the company or one of the corporate or company leaders in Usterity in Australia that's really driving this business and they can really get to the nitty gritty with you and have a good chat to you about it because I'm still learning and finding my way too. But also remember, it could be it's all about the connection. You know, our business is based on relationships and sometimes it might be that you're talking to a university student well, it's much better for me then to get a team member or someone from the community who I know is a fantastic, you know, um, vibrant student who can talk on the same level about things that I struggle with like Instagram and, yeah, I'm the old fart. But uh, the thing is that that's what it's really powerful for as well. And it shows when someone comes in then that they have that support. They don't have to do it alone and they, they don't want to most of the time. They, they don't want the other job. And often at the start, they are building this at the side as they are growing their belief and their understanding of the business. So they need that support because they've got their job or they've got children or they've got a, you know, um, other, you know, other things in their lives they have to put their time into. So it's really, really important to do that. And let's face it, and I find that even with our team members, it's the, we're growing so much across Australia that it's in the regions I'm knowing, noticing they're doing this really, really well. You guys are rocking it. You know, Darwin, um, I you just got to throw, you know, throw a dart at the board. Tassie, it's, they're doing it more. I think that we've got to remember in the, in the bigger areas where the communities really are established, say like Brizzy, don't forget to pick up the phone. Don't forget to do that third party. It's the easiest um, and most effective way to build your business. Absolutely. And obviously, you know, um, you know, we touched on it in the beginning, Kim, like, you know, you obviously started you started as a product user, then you started getting a little bit of a glimpse of how the how the business works. What do you find that sort of um, I suppose for you really helped build that urgency and that momentum? Well, I think it was because I I really suddenly saw an opportunity, as I said, to reclaim my time. I was dictated to by my passion for journalism, but I was dictated to also by my bosses. And I really saw, when I actually started looking at network marketing, the power of it. And I saw that if I could start to drive a whole lot of people doing a whole lot of small things over a sustained, a sustained period of time, as Eric Worre says, then that was the bomb. And so I started to actually educate myself. Watch how you guys in my upline and across all the teams were succeeding and what you were doing. And then I took myself back to school. And what I'm really excited about in this journey, Lil, is the new skill set. I'm loving learning about business. You know, we know I'll talk, that's a given, but I'm, I naturally share. But I am so fascinated by the power of leverage now, you know, of time and of the money. And I am really, really excited by the fact that my worth is now dicta not dictated to. I'm not afraid of hard work. So hell, I'm going all the way. You know, that's that's just a given. It's it's just going to happen. But, you know, you work for your a boss, etc. You sit down and you nut out your contract. And in my case, it took 15 years of working for not, you know, the, the best pay to then be on really good pay for the last 10 minutes. It took 15 years, you know, two to five years in this and our families are set. And I, I think of my little boys, I'm already thinking one day of their, their children, like this is crazy, this is a legacy and it just blows my mind. And I've only just started. You know, I, I'm learning like all of you guys. I learn every day and I make, I make mistakes every day. I stuff up all the time. You <laughs> do, Lillian, and you know, but that's what it's about. Because if you don't face your fear with some action, you're never going to do anything. And in two years' time, you'll be going, "Why didn't I? I don't want to leave this earth ever thinking, why didn't I give something a go?" And that's what really drives me. This, and that's what I love about this. It's really inspiring people just to give it a go. Absolutely, and I think it's such a vital question. You know, when you really think about it. Um, ultimately, whatever we were doing before we were doing this area, if you continue doing what you were doing, if you kind of uh, ask the question, okay, well, if you look ahead in 12 months' time, where do you think your life will be? And guaranteed most people will say 
exactly how it is right now because there's really not a lot of opportunity for people to get ahead these days. And I think that's one of the things I absolutely love. And one of the things I've really enjoyed about you, Kim, is being able to see you, even coming from a really successful journalism career, uh, obviously a lot of credibility and stuff, and um, you know, obviously your fair share of questions about the business, about the products, and you literally have thrown yourself into this wholeheartedly. And I absolutely respect you for that. And I honestly, um, I cannot thank you enough for trusting me. Um, just as we're sort of wrapping up, like, how do you find if you just to kind of share some, I suppose some, some maybe some nuggets or some new people. Like, what do you find is the most successful way to actually share this gift that we have with people? I think the most successful way of sharing this gift is to shut your trap. Just listen. Listen, and whether they realise or not, you'll hear a why. And keep going till you do hear that. The as soon as you stop thinking about selling and think more that you're sharing, as soon as you stop thinking about the outcome and just focus on that moment and that connection, it's going to follow. And when you listen to that person, you'll then know naturally whether to go in and chat with them about the product or the business or their, you know, their dream. And if they share that dream, you can say, well, would it be okay if I showed you how you could realise that? So I just find it so powerful and I've always done that as a journalist. And all jokes aside, because yes, I know I can talk a lot and I get paid to talk, as my husband says, thank God, and I still do. But the most powerful thing I learned in journalism right from the start from a mentor was it's in the silence that the most powerful grab is said. So in journo speak, a grab is that thing you might see in a story, that really compelling comment that someone makes. So I'm forever now listening out for the new serity grab. When I'm talking to someone and I say, you know, how, how are you going with your job? And then I sit back and I listen. And I start sharing. They'll be waiting for the next question and I just sit there. And you've got to really hold yourself back because you feel a bit of a dick sometimes. It's like, okay. But just sit there and be attentive and, and just don't um, ask another question for just a second. It'll feel like a long minute. And then they offer up something else. And it's what they weren't planning to offer up that is the most powerful. I can guarantee it. And that's where you generally find the why and how you can connect. And that's how I use that as the avenue to share. So I really find that that pause and that silence is so powerful as the connection to share. And it's not just the way you can share, but you're going to share then in the right way. We can all go out and vomit information about the products and everything, but it's actually not going to resonate. People will just go, oh my gosh, another miracle cream. So it's actually finding out how to connect with them and in the back of your mind thinking, how can I help them? I'm not getting them. I'm not selling anything to them. I want to help. And that's what I seriously want to do. You know, people might say you're playing semantics and sharing is selling. Well, it's bloody well not. And when people come back to me two months later and say, I'm so glad you introduced this product to your friend, and I always get emotional because this is what it is. I love that I heard a conference in San Diego that described skincerity as a very emotional product. It is. And when people come up to me and say, I've got my confidence back, I can now go for that job interview that I wasn't going to go for because I didn't believe in myself. Hey, that's what I, I do. And I will, with their permission, even use their names, but I will share those stories when I'm connecting with people. You know, the old adage that uh, facts tell and stories sell. Well, that's it. And in our case, the stories help you share because that's what it is. I just The stories are amazing. So I really recommend to people as you're new and, and if you're really brand new and this is the first time you're on and a big welcome and my gosh you've come in a crazy time but learn some stories from your team and from other people in the community because those stories are what really will intrigue people and it's the stories that are going to get people thinking I've got someone like that in my life that I love and want to help and uh, that's what I find is really really powerful Lil. Absolutely and I think you hit the nail on the head I think you know, when you kind of, I, I, I understand that some people might think, you know, sharing is selling, but I think when you really look at it, our product and our company can offer so many solutions for so many different things. And unless you really ask the questions and you really listen to what they're looking for, 
um, you you might actually bring up stuff that the products are very good at doing, but it may not actually be relevant to that person. So I think you hit the nail on the head there, and that's really what it's all about. It's really like listening to their need, listening what they're looking for, and then you're offering a solution through either the business or through the, the products. Now, just as we're wrapping up, Kim, um, what are two little nuggets that you can leave today's audience with? Two. <laughs> Oh, look, I think you probably all see I'm pretty direct, but I would say do you speak from the heart, okay? People can sniff out and see BS from a mile away. So just speak from the heart. And the second one would be, as I've already mentioned, is to listen. You know, we've got two ears, one mouth, shut your trap and listen because it's through that that you really are going to be able to connect with people more than talking all over them. So yeah, that's what um, I, I feel, and there's some others, but yeah, I, the heart, for me it's all about the heart. It's all about the heart and it's all about listening. Absolutely. I'm glad I listened to you, Lil. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad okay. I did too. Absolutely. And Kim, I'm so thankful that you, you were able to, to squeeze in your schedule to jump on tonight. Now, I do have to give you permission to go because your two boys are waiting for a puppy dog, so off you go. You've got some work to do, I believe. Thank you so much. Hello. For that. See, guys, she's just, that's what they do. But anyway, um, happy blitzing, everyone. It's been an honor being on, and I just wish you all so much success. Reach out. We're all doing this together, and, um, you know, I'm here to help anybody. So um, thank you so much, Lil, and thanks, uh, Martine and Nathan, too. Night, everybody. Thank you. Back to you, Martine and Nathan. Wow, that's excitement, and you can really see why there's such, you know such success in that business because you know with that excitement, fun, and energy, and you can see it coming out of it like she's just a ball of energy, which is fantastic to see. Passion, love it, <laughs> and I don't think Diamond will be too far away, so can't wait to hear that news. <laughs> exactly. So where are we going to hear from tomorrow? I just want to do a massive shout out. Um, over four hundred and thirty people have received this gift this week. That is phenomenal sharing and, you know, if you're stuck blitz, blitzing and new serity and network marketing, it's a roller coaster ride. So keep moving forward, enjoy it. Um, those tips from the girls are awesome. Be authentic, be genuine, share from the heart. Uh, Help others and you're destined for success. So we'll see you next Monday night. And we'll, um, I'm sure we're going to have some more amazing rank advances through the week and we'll have some more special guests on next week. Thanks, Kim, and thanks, Lil. Cheers, guys. See you later. Yeah, have an awesome night. Bye.